My name's Aaron Croman, and I'm going to show you how to replicate spray paint in Photoshop. Okay, so we have our scene. I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to uh, use the brush tool. Make sure it's put it to normal. There we go. Okay, so now the first step is we're going to right click and get into our brush preset menu, and we're going to use one of these uh, spray tools. And maybe use a smaller one. I'll just kind of show you how it looks. So this is what it looks like. Just and it looks pretty close. But oh well, when you drag it, it just doesn't look that good. So how do you make spray paint? Well, we're gonna clean up a little. Oop. Cleaned up a layer there. Backed up too much. So we're going to use one of the smaller ones. It makes it easier. You'll see why. And we're going to go into the brush uh, options. And this is where we're going to start uh, messing with it. Using the brush options, you can create a brush that can simulate any type of medium you choose to use. A pencil, pen, it's up to you. So I'm going to go into scattering and here is where we just kind of uh, mess with the options that make it look a lot like spray paint. So we have a scatter, you have how much it spreads out. Uh, we want it to be close enough so we can get more like spray paint. We have the count, that's how many, uh, how much comes out, how much paint. And then the count jitter, uh, just kind of uh, how much uh, the count will like go from a little bit to a lot. And I'm going to also put in shape dynamics. I have a tablet, so it, uh, so it works. But let me show you what it looks like before. So, so yeah, that looks pretty good and put in the shape dynamics and so now it goes uh, with a little bit or a lot, goes with the pressure sensitivity of the pen. I'm going to maybe add a little bit more uh, scatter and it's going to make even more so so it makes an even bigger line. And uh, that's what you, what all you need for the most part. Uh, you can uh, vary these options, uh, can up the count so it's even thicker. Uh, especially if you want to make it nice thick lines rather than kind of just uh, kind of light and wispy like this. Uh, of course if you get the scatter big it can get a little unruly at times but it's fine tool. It kind of hurts the computer a little because uh, all the uh, time it takes to calculate it all on there. So I like to kind of keep it a little low. And of course you can add whatever colors you want. And there you go. That's how you make spray paint on Photoshop. So now you can graffiti bu buildings all you want without getting in any trouble. My name's Aaron Croman. Google me. Good luck with Photoshop.